What's up, YouTube? I'm gonna be taking apart this satellite uh, sender or a receiver. And it looks like there's gold here. I'm not sure. It looks like a gold board or gold-plated metal. I don't know. It'd be solid gold. Who knows? I removed these screws with a Phillips, a P1 I used uh, for Phillips. Uh, where did it go? This one right here. I took this plate off. Now I'm going to take this off. I have to remove some of the silicone. I'm going to take that apart. To see what's inside and how it's made. Alright. Seems to be a lot of silver in here. Silver plate. I figured this thing would be loaded with gold. But you can see this is broken right there. This board. And there's another spot where it's broke, which is right there. So this is not unusable. So I got to take a lot of screws out of here and get all this board out. And we can look at the other side and see what is inside these aluminum blocks. Maybe it's just uh, to cool something. So we'll take a look and get that board out. Okay, well, most of the boards just fell right out. These are just pieces of aluminum. Or a scrap bucket. Wow, look at that. Silver. Oh, I might have to burn these. Hmm. And pan out this powder. I don't know, is that silver? Or is that aluminum? You guys know? Is that silver or aluminum? Now here's the rest of the uh, pieces. I don't know what those are, rectifiers? No, uh, relays, some sort. There's a chip right there. There's the other side. Bunch of chips. And you figure one of these boards is... to send the signal to the box so you probably have to modify wow it's like solid Look at that. is that silver huh. let's turn them all upside down well this one it's upside down let's look at this one here not sure what that little thing is right there. Mm, solid. That's real shiny. That must be silver. Hmm. A little bit of gold in there. Not much. Not much, you know. There's some on this side though. Probably not worth very much, you know what I mean? Is it five bucks of silver on here? Ten bucks? I don't know what this little thing is. A little copper around there. Where is it? There's a little bit of copper under there. So that's what's inside. I would say one of these was to operate or to send. One is to receive the signal, and one is to uh, send the signal, you know, to the control box. But there's a couple pieces of aluminum here. And there, another piece of aluminum. So I'm going to go ahead and, you see how these things are? It picks up the signal. 
sends it through these holes. Sends it through the holes. And the heck does it receive it? <laughs> okay, here's a relay. This bounces the signal right here. Here's where it picks up the signal right here. So it's just a... Uh, There's a little chip or something right there. Let's see. Yeah, some kind of ch little chip right there, I think. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is anything. No, it's just a protectant cover. Same with this one. Same with this one. I mean, it's not really any chip or anything. It's just that maybe a signal amplifier right there, maybe. I don't know. Maybe you guys know. Somehow this board has to receive. There's a lot of gadgets on this one. A lot of chips. So somehow this receives a signal, but these are the receivers right here because of the four holes. There's another one that broke. I had four holes, okay. Here's another one with four holes in case you wanted a three-way. So all these boards are, are just about the same. This would receive the signal. This receives the signal. This looks like a ground and a ground. And this is probably the hop because it comes into here. So maybe by placing a ground here, ground wire here, and your hot wire here on that T, maybe you could receive that signal. But then you have the back to worry about. The back's probably just a ground. So a ground. Uh, you might be able to pick up satellite TV on that. Who knows? Maybe I'll try it. Alright, so. Now, most likely, you see these holes. This would, which way would this go? Something like this. Yep, exactly how that goes on there. Or... Does it go? Somehow you have to match up these holes. Now this might not be the right one for this. Because it doesn't match up exactly. But we got two holes right here. Yeah. There's a little knob. Alright. So I gotta work on this guys. But that's what's in the inside. So I took one of these off. It just broke out. Sorry this is a long video. I just broke it right out of here. I just cast aluminum. That space right there. Alright. And I have this. One of these would go like this. And secure it on in place. Okay. So this is all I need is this square. Um, which would be one of these. You know. Well, let me figure this out. Uh, so what I figured out was that this one most likely went right here and it's a dud because I don't know, there was something there. But where is it? Where's the third one? And that's the one I'm missing because this one came out the center. See how that one fits right in that hole. So maybe we could work with this one right here. And this base would be the ground. All right, so we got this one right here. So I'm gonna work with this one. Heck with that one. 
because all I need is one receiver. And somehow I got to solder a wire here. And down in there. Right there in that, that little T thing or L. So that's going to give me the signal, guys. That's what I'm thinking anyway. I could try, you know. It's a long shot. It's a long shot, but I could try. Anyway, this is going to be the end of this part. I'll do a part two if I'm able to get a signal, all right? Thanks for watching.